seems like some portable CD players react to even the slightest bumps. Now, Magnavox offers a portable CD player with electronic skip protection. So, even with a significant jolt, the music doesn't miss a beat. Smart. Very smart. Well, we've done it again. We haven't done any sort of intro. But we've got a CD player and... We're going to play a CD. <laughs> We're just going to have a nice little listen to a song. No. <laughs> We're going to have a look at giving it... Um, I've never circuit bent one. The treatment. I've seen, seen a couple that are pretty cool. So I'm maxing my body. It's just a really shit CD player. Anti shot. That actually dealt with it big time. <laughs> yeah, that's better than most CD players used to do. We'll get a copyright strike for vapor waving. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open it up and just see what see what's what. Yeah. We've got a selection of CDs. <laughs> Got some uh, CDs right from my car to check out, you know. Joe always li listens to that one. <laughs> <Bobby Swear. laughs> He's always got it on a swear every time I go around his house in the car. <laughs> yeah, that's my favourite. When he's favourite one. Sad. <laughs> Face this. Oh, how oh, let's get some Screaming Jay in there. I put his metal on you! <laughs> <laughs> That's Tom Waits, man. We're both of them there. Uh, the Best buddies, are not they? Yeah. What is essential classical? Oh, it's Chopin. Chopin! That's essential classical. That's essential. Meanwhile, <laughs> you're actually doing what we do on this channel. <laughs> Just no, reviewing what? my car CDs. <laughs> I don't even know where we got this from. We have been going to car beat sales, but you live in a different town now. Yeah, it's been sparse. It's hard to like link our things up because you're on shifts. Shift work. So, Sign up to our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do it seriously. We're going to have to do something. Because we want to do more videos, but we generally, genuinely, ain't got time yeah. at the minute. Yeah. Like our, our, Shifts to sink, sinking up. The <laughs> We're gonna have to move to a different CD player. We can't get the last screw out. Ah, oh, mate. There she is. Finally, look out. at the state of it. That ain't going back in for no one. <laughs> Bound to be a screw in here somewhere, no? No. Screw, I'm missing. I love you go past the fucking. Okay, <laughs> alright. Yeah, look, just then you went past the uh, tool for peeling things up <laughs> and straight to the scalpel. <laughs> Get the pry. That's the right tool for the job. Start round here, shall we? Oh! Oh. Oh. I don't want the whole thing to come off. I want to keep the battery compartment attached. It's going to need an extension. Oh, on the other side. No. For a motor for the thing. Not a lot to a CD player, actually, is there? Alright, let me put some better power on this so we can have some separation. Just do it. <laughs> That's all you gotta do, just rip it. Just... <laughs> Rocking the hood, okay. 
pop that hood. Put the old ribbon. Ribbon, yeah, right. <laughs> this is well handy. I don't know if people know. Is that my cat? <laughs> Um, we got distracted by a cat, but what Shane was trying to say is ribbon cables, they're really handy because you can, there's loads of little cables in them. So if you cut them, you, you got loads of cables. So what's going down now? We're just extending the power so we can have the back off, but have some separation between that and the actual circuit mm. so we can mess around with it. Yeah. So we're taking the old power on off. Where'd be the yellow one? Alright, we're good to we're good to go again. I'll put the hood down. Put this shit back together. What do we want? Jumpers. Little jumper leaves. Try and identify what's what on the board. That's all these, isn't it? That'll be screen. Should we just go and have a little? Skip the track. We go on that on the chip. Glitched it out. Ride it. <laughs> the noises. Error. No, it's playing, it's just not a fair enough. Thing. Oh. Hello. It's happening. Sample it, sample it. <laughs> <laughs> Touched it yet. Just picking a point and seeing if anything happens. Ooh. a good one as well. Should we try this little thing? It's really hard to get individual contacts. This is the process, by the way, if you're exploring something <laughs> new. Especially the really digital stuff. The keyboards, you open it, they'll be just one of them chips. Just a single big chunky chip. Like this. You know, there'll be more of a traditional IC rather than this thing, which is like complicated. <laughs> 
making weird noises that is. Over to you. Anytime now. <laughs> Sound. Yeah, it sounds like tape decay, you know, it's doing that. What's it doing? I can't tell if it's your CD or not. <laughs> Try another CD. Let's get a buffy one in there. Bring that buffy. <laughs> Smash that Bunch of them there. That one's cool. Alright. Hell yeah. That little section there. It's still, still going. going. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some nice sounds to it. thing of <laughs> E3. Just stroke the chip. I love it. How are we gonna do that then? It'll have to be a very fine piece of soldering from me. See what we're dealing with. What do you reckon? What do you think the chances are? Let's see how tight it looks. It's doable. Them glitches on a potentiometer might sound crazy, mm. but I'm really good. Try to put a pot to it, I guess. Yeah. 5k resistance. You're tipping the very ends of it. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Wow. 
what? Hang on, maybe there are two or three of them. There are at least three of them. I don't know, very attached, was it? Yeah, I know people are watching this, right? And <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking, the head on that soldering iron's much too large for this job. But we're about just doing it here. <laughs> so just do it, yeah. Just, just give it a go. Just give it a bash. Obviously, it's crashed. It didn't work, but you know, just do it. <laughs> Let me turn this thing all the way up or all the way down. Anti shock's good. Should we just do a lucky dip? See what happens. It's got a nice fudge to it. Great. Oh. Nice pain, this little one. Got it. Oh. Yeah. That's the glitch. I like it. <laughs> Wait. Some of this stuff. Should we just Should we just go for it? We're just gonna solder a load of this stuff together and see what it does permanently. I've already sold it some bits. Actually, oh, we should know. try should try playing some like piano music in that or something. section of it up. <laughs> we should be recording this sample wise. How are we um <laughs> <laughs> I literally just listened to it die. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> CD stop spinning everything. That's so good. <laughs> Check that it's definitely dead. Fully dead. Dead, dead. It's not like us to break stuff. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Maybe I 
only two that we got. We don't do see these often, do we? It's not gonna work. I'm not playing ball. I'm not playing nout. Definitely won't play that one. It's definitely got a laser issue. It's the same as the one we just took out. Okay. Exactly. Swap them over! <laughs> it's exactly the same. Let's do it. <laughs> We've never done a CD repair. <laughs> CD player repair. We switched it out. Switched that one for the one in here. And now none of it works. <laughs> Dead it. It's dead. That's both our CD players dead. <laughs> We did successfully swap out the uh, the reed, so I'm yeah, very proud of. That's how easy it is to replace a CD laser. By the way, <laughs> one plug, two plug. So we all learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all we oh, fucking yeah. got for this video. <laughs> Shit, like our, our, all our stuff's broken. See ya. <laughs> 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 it's literally weeks later. Yes, so the last video ended on us absolutely destroying some CD players. Two CD players. This is about all we got left of them. The little laser bits. That CD player, we couldn't get to fucking do anything. Um, we got some cool samples out of it dying. Yeah, that was fun. But, but that was about it. And then. Uh, and then I made a prototype, which is already. Why it's on Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> Check our Instagram out.
<laughs> the prototype proved that this was a completely pointless yeah. pursuit. This is stupid, but don't the way. don't do this. <laughs> this is this not. Is not even worth it. I have forced this. <laughs> so like I was saying before, the, <laughs> the laser was stupid. in here, it moved up and down. But I, the prototype that I made, this was rigid, like only this one span. Yeah. And obviously that's no good. It didn't work. So I took the motor from the broken one and I put it in here. Right. So now we got two motors. Two motors. And they're both running to the same power thingy. <laughs> this is wrong. So now we're making the fastest tape loop player ever. It's very fast. Yeah, you can control the speed of somewhat. Even that's fast. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. dying. Stay with me. Oh, yeah. But yeah, other than that, we've glued a tape head <laughs> on. <laughs> and I've had to construct a little runny runner system to, uh, to accommodate it because it's a heap of shine. <laughs> So stupid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many reasons it's stupid as well. Let's, let's see you're spinning with that tape on it at the moment. Oh man. <laughs> Does it stay on? Sometimes. <laughs> this is take one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to say this is take one before it was like. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Should we turn it up speed wise? Hey! <laughs> It's going so fast. It will let you go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. As soon as it goes slow, it's like. Mm. That's pretty good, though. There's a... <laughs> as a concept, fucking this is so pointless. Yeah. But it's good. Like, you got two mouths. <laughs> I mean, take the head let's on be there. honest, right? It looks way cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it does operate in a um, mechanical way. Yeah, but, but are we going to get any sound out of it? Would it sound? I don't. I mean, I don't know. We've got to figure out which one's which for this. Oh, yeah. And we need to figure out how to get sound out of that wire. I'm going like that. Mm. That one, that one. One of them's an earth, <laughs> because it's just soldered to that peg. <laughs> this is what happens when we fail something. Like, we try to mod a CD player and then we're just like, oh, no, we're good at tapes, let's this fucking tape. do this. <laughs> tape stuff. <laughs> That's our thing. <laughs> Step one, should we try and get some noise from it? From, from sound, sounds. Wait, what, yeah, let's try and see if... If we plug that in, if anything comes out in I'm general. Just gonna, I'm just going to be an absolute savage and just solder stuff together. Whatever I've connected. I don't know. No. You'd be able to hear that, wouldn't you? I uh, would assume. Really? It's only an art project. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no other merit to this. It's always been an art project. <laughs> Battery operated is a fucking art project. <laughs> Full speed. I understand this, I don't know why that works better, but. <laughs> I'm not getting any sound. At all. <laughs> We've tried multiple combinations of these fucking wires. And. Which we, we should look it up, because I've seen people do it. Yeah. Like literally get sound out of it. output to that. Yeah. Head to tape. 
Should we look it up so we don't look like mugs on YouTube? <laughs> going well. This has been a battle the whole time. <laughs> For this. Should we just smash it up? <laughs> no one's ever going to get one. <laughs> Don't ever ask us to make this for you. <laughs> we, need, we need a mono mini jack. Yeah. Single. Ring. Have I got right. one? And it should work. Why is it so hard? <laughs> The one that, like, we could, I would, like, our two options are step on it really hard. Yeah, but it looks so cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I'm still looking for options here. Well, the, sure. other, the other awesome. thing is life support, where we use a tape player <laughs> and we wire it in. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> that might be a theme. We've made some pointless shit over the years, right? But that might be the most pointless thing. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way I can see it. <laughs> well, you can just... Like, you can just... You can, you can oh, simply just, get rid just of that. go like that. <laughs> uh, that's the only way I can see it working. If we wire that into the tape player... Nah. I refuse. As soon as we get a CD player involved, <laughs> all hell breaks loose. Look, if we just switch these wires to these wires. <laughs> And put some batteries in this bad boy. It should just work. It should just work. Alright, I'm putting it on life support. Instead of <laughs> Shane's idea, instead of playing it in one tape player, <laughs> we're gonna put it into that one tape another, player with five heads. Don't work. <laughs> Look, it's a simple switcheroo. switcheroo yeah. And then we gotta get some batteries in there. Um we'll come back when this is built, I think. It's Norman's. <laughs> Which one's ear? Ear, yeah, mate. Look at all this stuff. Hello. It does work. Oh, hell yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> and the bed. <laughs> we have to try and get a loop spinning. I'm going to cut this bad boy down. Yeah. You can get a loop spinning in and it's going. This, this yeah. awful one. Let's see if I can make it a bit smaller. Stop this out. <laughs> Did you hear it? It's picking the sound up from the motors. <laughs> we made a motor synth. <laughs> I knew we were doing something good. I feel it. See, kids, this is what experimentation leads to. <laughs> Innovation. <laughs> we're making a tape loop. We're making a loop. Remaking it. This has got sound on, hopefully. Well, I'm sure it has, because we just got sound out of it then. And if you want to know how to make tape loops. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the video in the top corner. <laughs> but yeah, that was available. It's a severely underviewed video for how good it is. <laughs> it might be perfect. That's too big. Yeah, it's way too big. Should we plug it in anyway? Just for laughs. <laughs> Okay. Jesus Christ! He's running. Put the battery in quick. Oh, it's gonna slip. <laughs> we officially got sound from it. <laughs> there you go, that was a tape player. <laughs> Get fucked. What? What's happening? Do you hear it? 
Yeah. It's just insanely fast. It's so hard to get a loop on. Honestly, man, nobody try this. It's absolutely pointless. That was annoying. More than annoying. <laughs> We're gonna have to call this like making a tape player from CD parts or something to make it sound like we're half smart, and then they'll get into the video and see this and be like, "Oh god, oh my god, these guys!" Subscribe, are... <laughs> <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I mean, I would, but that's, that's just me. Oh boy, All right, let's run in. Just run in. Oh. It's actually kind of a nice sound. Can I change the speed? It's going really slow. Like, no, I mean, like, what it's, happened? It's jammed. Come on. Oh. It's so tight. Out. <clears throat> I feel like it's more useful like this. That's <laughs> no, not. It's definitely not. It's not useful. It's not useful. There's no way you can put it in the same sentence. Full speed ahead. Ready? Kind of nice sound sometimes. That's your jam. Why is it so jammy? Stretchy, stretch. <laughs> I mean, that's as good as we're gonna get it. Okay. So another go. I think because it's a piece of crap. <laughs> Is the battery dead? Should we try a new battery? No. The video's over. <laughs> <laughs> trying to say <laughs> oh god uh, basically that them computer cables are good because you can uh, like cable management within your build do you know what I mean like because they're attached together they sort of stay as a ribbon and you just peel off to where the points you need to fix but I don't know how to say that in a in a sound bite <laughs> 